Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel TechnoSage. So in this video, we are going to discuss lead code problem number 1768 that is merge strings alternately. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. You are given two strings word 1 and word 2. So in the example, you can see we have been given word 1 and word 2. So which are two strings and what we have to do merge the strings by adding letters in alternating order starting with word 1. So basically we have to merge both the strings by adding letters in alternating order. For example here you can see first we have to take the first letter of word 1 that is A and then alternately you have to take the first character of word 2 that is P. Again second letter B, second letter Q third letter C and third letter R. So like this we have to merge the strings and then if a string is longer than other so it is also possible that word 1 and word 2 doesn't have the same length. So in that case what we have to do append the additional letters onto the end of the merge string. So basically we will take two different examples one in which both the words have same length and the other one which has different length and then we will try to merge them. So let's understand how we are going to solve this problem. So let's first take the example number 1 that is word 1 and word 2. So we will take both the words which has same length. So let's say A, B, C and then P, Q, R. Right. So basically both the words have the same length. So in that case what we are going to do first we will start the pointer from the first letter of both the strings. So let's say we are going to take string builder string builder to save the merged string. So we will take the first letter of word 1 that is A and then first letter of word 2 that is P. Now we are going to move the pointer to the next index. Similarly, here also we are going to move the pointer to the next index and then we are going to append the letter of word 1 that is B and then letter of word 2 that is Q, right? Again move the pointer to the next index. Similarly, move the pointer to the next index. So, we are going to append the letter C and then we are going to append the letter R. Right? So, this is our merged string. So, here in example you can see we have word 1 AB and word 2 PQRS. Right? So, in that case what we have is word 1 that is AB and word 2 that is PQRS. Right? So, in that case what we are going to do Firstly, let's start the pointer from the 0th index of both the words and merge letter A and then letter P, right? And then move the pointer to the next index of both the words. Append the letter B and then append the letter of Q. So now what we are going to do, we are going to check that word 1 is reached to its maximum length. So in that case what we are going to do we are going to check the word 2 whether it has any letters left. Yes we have two letters left so we are going to append both those letters right. So this will be our merged string in that case right A P B Q R S. So let's say if we have word 1 is A B C D and word 2 is only P Q. So in that case also we are going to say letter A and then P move to the pointer to the next index that is B. Similarly move the pointer to the next index that is Q. So now word 2 has already reached to its maximum length but word 1 has two letters left. So we are going to append that to the end of the string builder. So this will be our merged string in that case. I hope you understood how we are going to solve this problem. Now we are going to write the solution for it. 
So this is our class that is merged strings alternately. So let's write a method public. So it is going to return the string. So it will be string merged strings and it would expect two inputs that is string word one and string word two. Now we are going to take string builder to store the result. Let's take the name as result itself which would be new string builder and now we have to write our loop that would be while your index is less than word one dot length let's initialize the index as zero so while i is less than word one dot length or i is less than word two dot length so in that case what we are going to do if i is less than word one dot length then we are going to append the first letter of sorry that is not sb that is result result dot append first character of word one right that means word one dot caret i right which will give the character at the index i correct similarly if i is less than word two dot length in that case append the character of word two right word two dot caret index i and we have to increment the index after each iteration so at the end we are going to return the string builder result right result dot to string so now write our main method that is public static void main string args let's take the word one as a b c that is your string and string word two is PQR. So firstly we are taking the example in which both the words have the same length and then let's call our method that is merged strings word 1 and word 2 and then you can write your print statement to see the output. So this is how we need to solve this problem. So let's run the program and see the output. So you can see here a p b q c r right so let's test with other inputs as well let's say it is a b c d e and this is p q r so now run the program so it should be a p b q c r and then d e should be appended at the end right so this is correct so now we can say a b p q r s so now what should be the output a p b q r s right so let's run the program and see the output. So you can see here the output is correct A P B Q R S. I hope you understood the solution. Now let's test our program in the lead code as well. So we can copy our code. So let's run it. So you can see here the test result is ex accepted. Run time is 0 millisecond. So the time complexity of this program is O of n and space complexity is also o of n since we are using string builder so this is how we need to solve this problem if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for more such videos we'll keep on solving more lead code problems thank you so much